These are five things that can lower your blood pressure. Number four may be a little upsetting to you, but uh, if you can get through to number five, you'll be okay. So let's just get into number one. And number one is eating specific foods that will lower your blood pressure very, very fast. One of them is hibiscus tea. The other one is beetroot juice. You can choose whichever one you want. Both of them will stimulate your body to produce more nitric oxide. And nitric oxide is a gas that's in our body. It's ready to go. All we have to do is produce it, but we need the nutrients necessary in order to make our own nitric oxide. The gas, once it's in our blood vessels, will actually help dilate and relax the blood vessels, and that's the mechanism by which they both can reduce blood pressure. There are some other things, like with hibiscus tea, uh, it's a natural ACE inhibitor, it's a diuretic, so there's a lot of ways that these foods will lower blood pressure. They're very, very strong, so if you're already on medications, you wanna make sure your doctor knows you're trying natural methods, just to let them know, because many people are able to start using natural methods it lowers their blood pressure so much that they can actually reduce or sometimes even get off blood pressure medications. So that's something to consider. Number two is magnesium. Magnesium, either taken in supplement form or eating a lot of foods that have magnesium, plays a major role in our overall health. And quite frankly, almost all of us are depleted in magnesium unless we're eating a lot of vegetables that are organic. And there's just not a lot of people doing that, especially with certain diets now that they're restricting their diet to only one food group once a day. It's just impossible to get enough magnesium. And magnesium plays a role in so many different enzyme reactions to make other things work. If you're magnesium deficient, you are simply not going to be very healthy. So whether you take a supplement or eat most foods that have magnesium, it's a wise choice. So snack on pumpkin seeds, almonds, dark chocolate, bananas, salmon. I mean, I'm not telling you to do anything crazy here, am I? Number three is daily deep breathing. If you just take five minutes a day and relax, it can have tremendous benefits on your overall health. So many of us are just stressed out and stressed out that we that we were destroying our own health by the, having this sympathetic uh, fight or flight response 24 hours a day. And what I tell patients uh, as almost as a joke is, look, you're allowed to have stress. Stress is a normal part of life. We can't avoid stress, but you're allowed five minutes. You can stress 23 hours and 55 minutes a day if you want, but just give yourself five minutes. And most of them kind of get it that, yeah, it's not worth stressing all the time. So deep breathing, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth in a slow, controlled, and relaxed fashion for about five minutes. It's amazing what that will do. Again, same mechanisms. It stimulates nitric oxide production and stimulates your parasympathetic nervous system, which helps lower your blood pressure. Now, number four, you're not gonna like, but you need to stop drinking foods that have caffeine in them. That's just a no-no. If you have high blood pressure and you're on three different medications and you can't figure out why, you, uh, <laughs> your blood pressure is so high. I mean, my God, stop the coffee, stop the sodas, stop the foods or the teas that even have caffeine and you'll be okay. Caffeine is a stimulant. It stimulates our sympathetic nervous system. It's gonna constrict your blood vessels and that just raises your blood pressure. So you're just playing tug of war with your drugs. Why not just eliminate one side of that war and your blood pressure goes down. Number five, walking. Many people can't run. Many people are afraid to ride a bicycle. Many people don't wanna go in the water. They don't wanna swim, but walking is such a simple exercise. If you do it 30 minutes a day and you walk fast enough to get your heart rate up, to get your heart rate beating, you will stimulate nitric oxide production and make sure that when you do go for a walk, stop listening to music, stop listening to podcasts that stress you out about politics or something stupid like that. Just go out and enjoy nature, listen to the environment, listen to the wind, listen to the birds. It's amazing how much just 30 minutes of no social media time, no distractions, just you and nature can help you lower your blood pressure. My name is Dr. Story. I've been a doctor of chiropractic for over 28 years. I like to give people realistic information based on my experience and based on the scientific literature. The way I talk to patients is I don't use big words. I don't try to confuse them. I don't try to impress them. I just talk in simple terms. So instead of saying omega-3 fatty acids, I say eat a trout or eat salmon, stuff like that. 
If you like my videos, you can give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I don't really care. I think it's supposed to help the algorithm, but at this point, it doesn't matter to me. You do what you want, do you? But if you really want to lower your blood pressure, watch this video. This is my complete guide to lowering blood pressure. It's all natural and I'm giving it to you for free. This is stuff that I'll explain to patients and they pay for it. So you're getting it for free. So if I were you, I would watch this video, take notes and get started and lower your blood pressure naturally. It's very, very possible.